Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson. So we're back with a brand new video and I'm going to show you guys how to detect ghost pings. So basically whenever a user pings someone else and they delete the message, that's considered a ghost ping. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the bot send a message to the channel of who the user ghost ping and then who it was. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to be using an event handler. You don't need to use an event handler. You can do this without it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the message delete event handler. Now notice how this project is a simple slappy project. Okay, you don't have to use it. You can basically just configure your own message delete event with your own command handler. But the function that we're going to be implementing is going to be the same exact thing. So don't worry about it. Okay, there's just a little bit of differences, but don't worry. I don't want you guys to copy exactly what I'm doing. I want you guys to understand what we're doing, which is why I'm going to explain everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destructure the mentions property. Now, this is an object. This is a property on the message object, and it basically contains the users as well as the roles collection. They're both collections. And I'll actually just console log this mentions variable so you guys know what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and ping myself and I'll ping a role. And I'm going to delete the message. Now, if I go over here, you're going to see we have message mentions, which is an object and it has a couple of fields. We have the users field, which is a collection. And this is basically a collection of all of the users that were mentioned. And then we also have roles as well. Okay, we have roles. This is a collection of all of the roles that were mentioned. We're going to go ahead and handle users first. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to actually check to see if there are any mentions, okay, in the collection. So I'm going to go ahead and create a method inside this class. I'm going to call it has mentions, and this is going to take in the mentions object. Okay. Now I am using TypeScript, but like I said, it's not, it's not too different from actual JavaScript. So don't feel discouraged. Like I said, I want to explain to you guys what's going on rather than you have you guys just copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in this mentions object inside this method. Okay. This is just type annotation so that we can only pass in the mentions object and we can't pass in anything else. Like I can't pass in a string that would throw an error. Okay. So TypeScript is very useful for, for things like this. Anyway, so inside this function, all we're going to do is return a Boolean value. And we're just simply going to check to see if the users dot size collection is not equal to zero. Okay. So if it's not empty and then mentions dot rules, we'll just check the size. If it's not equal to zero. So if either one of these collections are not empty, then we're going to, it's going to return true. If they're both empty, that means there are no mentions. And I'm also just going to go ahead and specify the type, the return type as Boolean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and now use an if condition. So if this dot has mentions, so we're going to pass in the mentions object next. So this first checks to see if there are any mentions. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what we want to do next? Well, the next thing we want to do is we want to check the difference, the duration. So we want to make sure that when they delete the message that it's within a certain uh, threshold. Okay, so let's say, for example, if I type this message right over here, if I ping the bot, and let's just say we waited one minute and I delete this message. Okay, should that log to the channel that that was ghost ping or should we wait longer? So hopefully that part makes sense. So if let's say, for example, if I delete that message like 30 minutes later, should that still be considered a ghost ping? That's up to you. I'll let you guys decide, but I'm going to go ahead and use my own threshold. I'll use probably like 10 seconds just for testing purposes. You guys can use whatever you want. I would recommend maybe like 10 to 20 minutes maybe. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we need to actually get the current date. So const current date and we'll create, we'll create a new date object like this. And then we want to get the date that the message was created. And what we want to do is we want to take the current date and subtract that with the date that the message was created. So to do that, we can just declare a variable called the difference and we can take current date and we're going to call get time and then subtract message dot created at, which is a date object. And we're going to call get time. And what this is going to evaluate to is a number in milliseconds. Okay, so all you have to do is just check to see if that number is within uh, the threshold. So for example, if this was 10,000 milliseconds, that would be 10 seconds. So we want to check if difference is less than or equal to. So let's do, uh, let's see, 10,000. So that's 10,000 milliseconds, so which is 10 seconds. 
So if they had sent the message and then deleted it within 10 seconds, then it's going to be considered ghost ping. So what you want to do is want to get all of the mentions that the user has deleted. So we're going to do that by simply declaring a variable called all mentions. And we're going to just create a new function for this. So I'll actually comp this part out. And I'll go down here and I'll call this function slash method get all mentions. This is going to take in the mentions object, similar to the has mentions uh, method. And what we're going to do is we're going to get all of the user mentions as well as the role mentions. So first, let's get the role mentions, so const role mentions. And to do that, we can reference mentions dot roles. Okay, because remember, you can mention roles as well. This is going to be a collection. But what I want to do is I want to get the actual user or the actual role, sorry, in a mentionable format, kind of like this. So to do that, what we can do is we can call dot map. And I can actually do this. I can go ahead and first, let me just pass in the role object. And remember, dot map is going to transform the collection. So it's going to go through every single object in that collection. And it's going to transform that object based on the function that we have. So we're going to transform it to uh, two strings. So this is going to return a mentionable role. So it's going to actually appear like this. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for user mentions. So const user mentions equals users or sorry, mentions dot users. Now I'm actually going to filter this out. What I want to do is I want to filter out all the users that are bots because we don't really care if they go spin a bot. It doesn't really matter. So we'll just add that filter and this is going to return a collection and we're going to call dot map. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did with role and we're going to return user dot two string so we can actually mention the user. Okay, that's how you can mention users in the embed. That's one way. And then we're going to return both of these arrays. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just destructure them. So role mentions and then user mentions. Just like that. And that should do the trick. So now over here, we can uncomp this part out. And what I'll do oops, is I'm going to call this dot get all mentions mentions. And that should give us all of the mentions. And then now we can send this to the channel. So we'll create a new message embed and I'll just set the description. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ghost ping from and let's mention the user that sent the message. Message dot member and pinged. And we're going to go ahead and reference all mentions. So now this is an array. Okay, it's an array that contains all of the role mentions as well as user mentions in a mentionable format. We're just going to join them all together. We're going to join this array with a space. You can join it with a comma, it's up to you, but I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, and I'll also set the timestamp. And uh, that should be fine. Now let's send that message to the channel. Okay, so let's go over here and let me just make sure the bot is on, it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and mention, let's see, intellectual, Arizona, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Now you can see ghost ping from Arizona pinged Arizona. Now you see how it did not mention the bot at all. Okay, so if I do that, if I do that, if I do that, and if I delete it, it's only going to say my name. Now, we don't really care if the user ghost pings themselves or the bot. So we're going to add one more function. And this is going to take care of checking to see if the user ghost ping themselves. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and create another function contains only uh, original author. Really long function name, but the whole it's, it's a very descriptive one. And we're going to take in two parameters, the mentions as well as the author's ID. And this is going to be of a type snowflake. In case you guys didn't know, all of the IDs are type snowflake. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a couple checks. So I'm going to return and I want to reference mentions and I'm going to check to see if roles.size is equal to zero. And I want to make sure mentions.users.size is equal to one. And I'm going to go ahead and check to see if that is true. So if uh, the size is equal to one and then mentions.users.has author ID. Remember, mentions.users is a collection of all of the users that were mentioned. And we're going to pass in the author ID when we call dot has, that's going to return true or false if the author ID is actually in the collection. So to explain this whole thing again, what we're doing first is we're checking to see if the roles collection has a size of zero. The reason why is because remember, this function is contains only original author. Well, if it contains a role, that means it's not just the original author. 
okay? So we want to check that. We want to check to see if the user size is equal to one, okay? Because if it contains more than one, then that means that it's not just the author. So this is going to be perfect. So now we just want to go over here inside this if condition, and we're going to check to see if not this contains only original author. So if it doesn't contain the original author only, then we're not going to execute this at all. So let's send that message. Let's delete it. And notice how it doesn't send the message to the channel. If I get rid of this condition right over here, it will. Okay, watch. And then if I delete it, there we go. So obviously we want to prevent that. Now one more thing that we want to do is work right over here, get all mentions. We also should uh, filter out the ones that uh, the user is in. So for example, if let's say if over here, if we're only filtering out bots, we want to filter out the user. So if I do this and if I filter out the six and if I delete this, that would still work. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll filter out uh, if user is not a bot and then we'll also pass in author ID down here as well. And then we'll check to see if user ID is equal to actually not equal to author ID. Okay, so if there is a user where they mention themselves and this condition over here is going to uh, check to see if the user's ID in the map or the collection is not equal to author ID. Okay, and if that's true, then we don't want that inside the user mentions. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to pass in the author ID. So I'm going to go over here and now I'm going to pass in message to author.id. And what I'll do is I'll actually only uh, send the message if all mentions is not empty. So if all mentions dot length is greater than zero, then we'll send it. Okay, so let's try this out now. So Arizona, so that's gonna not do anything. Good. Let's ping a bot. Okay, so it still says that I think our logic is incorrect. So if it's greater than zero, okay, so it seems like this is definitely greater than zero. So what I want to do here is if the user is not a bot or uh, if user ID. So yeah, this is probably screwing this up. So what can I do is I could probably make it so that if user is not a bot and the user is not equal to ID, but that's going to be false for some cases. So that's not going to work. We could probably do another filter maybe. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this. Maybe you guys uh, can tell me down below. What I'll do is you. So we're going to filter out again. And we want to filter out the original author. We could just remove it, actually. I think actually we could remove it. Let me let me do that. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just remove it from the collection. I think that's much more safer. Or not safer, but much more faster. So I can first do dot users dot delete author ID. Okay, then we can filter out the bots. Oh wait, sorry, uh, hold on. Delete doesn't return anything. Sorry, give me one sec. So we're going to do that first, we're gonna delete it. And then we're going to reference mention dot users dot filter dot map. Okay, this should do the trick. I know it's a little bit uh, weird, we're just jumping all over the place, but trust me, this should work. So we do that. That's not going to send the message. Oh, wait, the bot's not logged in yet. Okay, there we go. Delete that message. Good. Do that. And now if we delete that, it's not going to send anything. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, if I go ahead and do this, and if I try to ping the other account, okay, it should just show Yeti. Perfect. Okay, if I do Yeti, and if I delete that, perfect. There you go. All right, so that's pretty much it for detecting ghost pings with message deletes. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to do this with message update. It's going to be very similar to what we've done here, just with some minor tweaks. So I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.